Et ben c'est le pecan say yeah! Oh, there he is. Happy St. Patrick's Day whenever you're watching this. This is how I'm taking the kids to school today. Oh my goodness, Brooks. What? Did you do that? What? No. You see the leprechaun? I gotta do a look up in the tree. The leprechaun said, yeah. James, guess what? Just put in the body. Wait, what? Did mommy do it? No, I thought Brooks did it. What? Did you do it? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Could be a crackhead. Look at your hair though. You got a four leaf clover on your head. Hey, where's the Minnie Mouse bag? Look at the potty. I'm gonna see if I can Look use those gel crayons to make her hair green. down to the bottom of this. We got leprechauns everywhere. He wants you to draw these. These nuts. Is you're the artist and I'm not. Oh, oh that's gonna, that's be, so gonna be cool. Look at that. He probably saw the green swing out there. I'm gonna run a backhoe and uproot that tree. I don't wanna know where to go. It's like a leprechaun trail. Did he think they were gold, but they really weren't? Yeah. We could have used them for a trail. He might have to what check it. What if we it. dropped a leprechaun? Did he get in the car? There's nothing in the car. See if there's anything in daddy's car? Because you're the wackiest. There might be something wacky in your car. <laughs> Update, I found a uh, old Amazon box here at the house to ship this. Let's get this shipped. Fail and a half toy. And luckily it's not gonna cost me $60, hopefully this time. And then we gotta clean out this garage, y'all. Once my balls drop, I've gotta get this. This is just driving me absolutely insane. Would you be quiet, seagulls? Actually, I really like that. That's just super cool that there's just seagulls flying over us. Still got some Xbox 360 games here. I need to sell. I think I still got them posted on Facebook Market. Still tons of stuff in here that I'm gonna go through and list. And other random behind the scenes news, my AC went out. It was like, is it really out? Because it was still kind of chilly outside and I couldn't tell. And you get in Katie's car and you could totally tell that it was just blowing warm air. Freaking out initially, I was like, oh my gosh, this is why we have an emergency car fund, but we don't have probably what would be enough to cover like a major car expense, like a busted air conditioning. Then I was like, well, maybe it's low on Freon or it's got a Freon leak. And you know, those are like the tedious leaks that leak and then keep leaking and then keep leaking. And then you keep going back, keep going back and then end up having to get your whole AC replaced or something. So I started doing a little research online and found, or maybe it was Katie that found the initial article, but then I watched a video, any vehicle from the year 2015 or 16 through 2019 Chevy Tahoe Suburban all the Chevys had a warranty recall on a AC condenser unit that was faulty and would cause a crack in the front of it and then end up leaking all the Freon out and it was a free warranty replacement if your car was in that year range and or 60,000 miles luckily I'm at 38,000 miles now but this engine has a lot more engine miles on it as far as just being run because when we had showings i would sit in the parking lot not necessarily drive it that many miles but it would literally stay on for like an hour the engine miles aren't as representative of the actual miles that are on the car that was good news but i was also like this is too good to be true there's no way they're just gonna replace it for free i called the local Chevy dealer here. Took it in last week, told him the issue, took it in that morning, never heard anything until I called. I called at like four and I was like, hey, I just was like checking. He said at like 4.30, we're open till six, your car's ready to go. It was um, the AC condenser thing under warranty and you're blowing cold air now. I was like, this is insane. So that's one hashtag lucky thing that has happened. Also, I don't know if y'all remember, on my birthday last year, rolled through a stop sign that is in our neighborhood, which I looked both ways. I actually looked at the cop as I was doing it. It's just like one of those habitual, you kind of look, you see there's nobody coming. It's in a small little slow road. Pulled over immediately, told him I effed up. I'm sorry. I was like, man, it's my birthday. He said, I'm sorry, here's your court date. I said, well, we're getting ready to move 
like, what do I do? He said, you can just go online and pay it. Tried to go online, couldn't find my ticket number. So I called him, sat on hold forever. She couldn't find my ticket number. She got my last name, my info, my birth date, all that stuff. Found my file, found my record, said, oh, police officer dropped that case. Case is closed, no ticket, you have to pay. I was like, are you serious? Hashtag lucky. I'm, I'm two for two right now on the luck of the Irish as far as things going well right now in life. I was hoping that when I went to go get my vasectomy that she would just take one look and be like, oh, <laughs> Those are nice, it's all free, but no luck there. So I struck out on my three for three. Got lucky that I found a box, let's go. Got back home from the post office and then ran to Target to return some pants that I got you for Christmas, I think it was. They were so cute. They were but... leggings. Even the lady returned them, she's like, oh my gosh, these are adorable. It was a bummer, they just didn't fit right. They like fit in the waist, but the legs were really loose or something like that, I don't even remember. They're discontinued now too. I stopped by Target and you know, when you stop by Target, things get a little bit dangerous. We have given away and donated and sold a lot of clothes, so we're kind of actually low on the clothes that we like. I needed some other like nice shirts, nice tees. Is that the wind? No, that the... was the air conditioning that just came uh, on. The wind is crazy. We've though. got to hunker down tonight, folks. So stay safe if you're in the south. This is your what? Fourth, fifth year to wear the same lucky shirt? Your sixth. How long have you had that? I remember being at Beefer Brady's when Gaines was in the care. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what is it called? So I don't even know the names of them anymore. Oh, uh, Ergo? Was it Ergo? Yeah. 2000, that was 2015, so six years ago. You were yeah. due for some new shirts. I was due for some new shirts. Y'all are tired of seeing sarcasm only, allergic to mornings, <laughs> or whatever else it I actually says. donated those, I think. <gasps> I'm a big boy now. Oh, did but you I donate your Ninja Turtles? I think so. <gasps> Maybe not. Oh I don't know. Gosh. I donated a lot of like graphic tees, but I did save some. Just for like occasions like this. So let me give you a little fashion show. Fashion, fashion show and lunch. Oh, it's been a minute. First off, we have the Eastern Shore sunsets. Oh my gosh, amazing. So it does have a little graphic on it, but. It's not words yeah. and it's not like some character or something. Right, right. I think it's really cute. So, I love the color scheme. That was a cool way to do a sun, sunrise. I like that. I like that and I like how it fits. Tell by the way I move my walk, I got a vasectomy. No time. Oh my gosh, you look just like your dad in that video where he's dancing out of the <laughs> den at our old house. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <That was> go. <good. laughs> he's ready to, party. He's ready to go. <laughs> right. You had very Howard to you right there. got home from taking my school pics with all the middles <laughs> of the 1980s but I'm a grown up now so I look a little bit I like it I like the colors the colors are like some of our favorite colors you actually match the thousand dollar chair I like it it's very cute and that's all just two shirts no we can uh, link these things up in the description I think since we actually have new clothes that aren't from 10 years ago I can <laughs> link them up <laughs> I'll see if I can find links oh Oh, well, I mean, I could link those too. These are the ball hammocks. You missed it. We did finally get a code for those after we posted about them. We got in touch with the company and everybody was wanting a code. So we'll leave you the link for those two. And the code is Cullen and sign KD10. You get $10 off $30 purchase, which is a really good code. So go check those out. These I love. You're gonna have to go get some more of those. Well, and the thing is, is I never look at gym shorts because I basically live in gym shorts. And so when you said you saw them, I was sending her pics of the shirts and stuff. And she said, oh, I like those till gym shorts. And so I said, okay. I do too. They fit differently. Adulter. Adulter. <laughs> they're adultery shorts. No. <laughs> they're more, I don't guess adult, but they're just different than the ones you have. It's, it's like I could go play pickleball or tennis all at the same time. And for the haul, to finish it all off. This is actually a delayed, belated Father's Day present. From last year? From last year. I looked for this for Cullen last year for Father's Day and actually went several different places and never even found it and he didn't get a replacement gift. He just didn't get it. This is the backpack roll top Titan deep freeze Arctic zone 20 can three day ice backpack cooler. Cooler. This Isn't that cute? That zips down and straps down and then you just 
Just got home from taking my pictures, now I'm going to play pickleball. The one that we had before was like a rolling cooler, which is nice to have, but it was it leaked all the time and it would leak all over the place. It was also rusty on the handles, they wouldn't go up and down Family anymore. We used it at the beach so much that sand would get all up in the wheels. We were due for another one of those too. I've been looking for another one, obviously, since last Father's Day. And this is the cheaper version of the Yeti one. What's the price on this one? What was this? What'd you say? $34. 34 and the Yeti's like $134 uh, or something? $199, I think. You're paying for a little bit better quality, but. but. For our purposes, we'll try it out and we'll let y'all know how it compares and like how it lasts because I can get something for $35 versus $199. I'm gonna be down for that. This is the Easter's last coming up. Target haul here. Easter haul decoration kits. Do y'all decorate I Easter eggs? I always like these kind. One of those things like, oh, it's gonna be so fun to sit down with your kids. I almost just said that. Easter eggs. And it's usually miserable. But it's gonna be wonderful because if we say it's gonna be miserable, then it will. But it's gonna be <laughs> fine and it's gonna be wonderful and we're just gonna expect that messes are gonna be made and stuff's gonna be spilled. I also got a couple things at Walmart. I have one pair of jeans currently. I've donated so many pairs. And I have one pair that doesn't fit, but I kept them anyway. Ooh. I didn't end up keeping those. Are you taking these back? Well, I tried them on and they're just that style that everybody's got these days of like the mom. Uh, no. It just doesn't. Granddaddy Patrick Swayze. Yeah, do you want me to try them on for you and show you how they don't fit good? Maybe they'll fit me. <laughs> try them on. Try them on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep them. Oh my God. You look like you're from What's That Show? Where the men are like police officers and stuff. There you go. Oh. Wait, what? I just need a Budweiser. Go step, go step out there. I like those on you. <laughs> I think. Don't lose anything out the bottom. I need a Budweiser. Look at that. A visor and a mustache. I mean, I'm a fan of those. If I take them back, nobody's going to realize that a man has been wearing these <laughs> for a few minutes. Oh my gosh. How are the babies? Did you give them an update on I that yet? I'm not giving them an update on that. Did Ooh. they lay more overnight or was that oh it last God, night? It's crazy. There's so many in there. Nemo baby, so y'all stay tuned. We'll keep you posted on them. They're just chilling back there. They're going to be chilling there for several days. Okay. I don't know that they're actually supposed to be tucked in with this type of shirt. But um, this is how they look on me. I don't prefer this. I don't like shorts that have pockets on the side so that when you sit, they do this. And they're just kind of big. They don't hold anything in. And my shorts, I need them to hold stuff in. I also got this jean skirt that I'm not keeping. I'm just showing y'all stuff I'm not keeping first, I guess. I don't particularly like how it goes out. It doesn't have a button, so if you're looking for this kind of thing, you might like it. What do you think about it? I uh, might do good with a, like a church shirt. That's Cullen's code for like, he doesn't like it. I also got these jeans. Try on on Instagram. If you miss my stories, I'll give, I'll let Cullen maybe like put in a little clip or maybe I'll make a highlight and you can go see them. These are the jeans, the exact ones almost that I wear all the time. They're my one pair of jeans that I still have left through all the donations. In every picture, people are like, oh my god, where'd you get your jeans? These are them from Walmart, no boundaries. I have the three button fly, but they also had them in this. So I'm branching out to 1980 here. No, I did not ask you to lay on them. I opted, if you're like between sizes, I opted to go for the smaller size because it provides a little extra support right here. And look how cute this is. I'm just gonna keep talking like I'm not, oh, she called me. Y'all know how if I find a shirt I like, I get it in every color. <laughs> the dressing rooms are closed, so you have to get it and bring it home and try it on. Technically a workout shirt, so it's Avia, Avia, whatever. You know what I just here. realized? Hmm. I wonder how that has helped the, the businesses boom as far as their sales to return ratio. Because, because you, you can't buy it. you can't try it on, so you just buy it, and then you don't ever return it, and so they make more money that way. But there is stuff that I probably didn't buy because I was like, I just don't know. Because you want to try it, it on, on. yeah. You know? mm -hmm. I really liked these because it can look like a regular shirt. It doesn't necessarily look like a workout shirt. It's super thin, like see the stretchy, oh, yeah. stretchy, and it's not like Under Armour like spandex like. Mm -hmm. It's like a a knit. It also has a low butt, and it's got like a line across the back. So you can wear it with your leggings. See? Oh, nice. So it can cover your butt if you need your butt covered. But so I got that basically in every color that they had. This I thought was the coolest thing ever. You know how she can't ever find skin color to color with? Oh. So they made colors for like every skin color. That is cool. Isn't that cool? It's called Colors of the World. Every time is like, okay, I've got like brown and I've got a peach. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. So props to Crayola. Right? Yeah, I was about to say. But also, wow, just now. So that was basically it. I'm not gonna try on all these shirts for y'all. These are, these are surprises, don't you? But look, 
Oh, they light up. Yay. They always love these. They and love they those. happened to just have a blue and a purple. Nice, so nice. Got them. One thing that we've uh, learned over the years is to get expensed items, th things that will be used in the house. Um, No. Consumable. Consumable mm -hmm. items that um, will be used so you don't have so much clutter, which granted we're probably not a good example. <laughs> Better than a toy with a thousand pieces that makes a lot of noise. You give them a bath bomb and they're just as happy. Alright, there's our there's our little mm -hmm. hole. I gotta go get the um, tornado stuff out of the attic and make sure that that's all ready. We have Check some wicked weather coming here, folks. If y'all missed our tornado emergency kit uh, video back from like two years ago, we'll link it. I feel like I remember thinking it was ter a terrible experience making that video. It was. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was a bad time in life. <laughs> and I think one of us locked our keys in the car. It was just not a good day. It was all over I the place. I remember we were like yelling at each other in the store. No, um. we do need a baseball bat <laughs> to fight that tornado. And how but. ironic is it that we have our emergency tornado kit in the attic. The area that gets blown away <laughs> if you have a tornado. Smash it! Oh! <laughs> We're still uh, hunkering down. <laughs> oh, 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 what happened? You alright? Oh, the corner. Oh, the corner always gets you. Is you okay? Oh, but you got the bug. You got the bug. You got it. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, that hurts. He said, take it out on that bug now. I think, I think you got him. I think you got him good. Yeah. <laughs> he even, she even actually did his dad. She said, okay, my, my job's my job done. done. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look how cute. Oh. Emma is hammered. <laughs> Dang. These are for the adults, I think. Yeah, those are, those are the adults. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're still in the safe zone. If you're under here, hit subscribe. Go check out the past couple videos. I feel like we're suddenly in somewhat of a routine. And when you're in a routine and your world's aligned and your brain's aligned and your mental capacity and state is aligned and your kids have a stable routine finally, then we can get in a better routine. So, y'all expect more of these videos and we will see what OTFS catch you on the flip side. Bye! Whoa! Here's a cat toy.